let's explore the how the forwarding happen in the ACI. Okay, if we talk about if we talk about the forwarding component in the ACI, we have a two component endpoint table and routing table. In the endpoint EP endpoint table, you will get the MAC address entry or slash thirty two host address entry IP and MAC or MAC only entry. In the routing table, you will get the uh, all known slash thirty two entry. Okay, normally what you see in the router. You will get the slash 32 and uh, known slash 32 means slash 24. What are those other than 32? You check in the show IP route table. But in the ACI, over the slash 32 or all the MAC address entry only will be you will find in the endpoint table and rest all the entry you will find in the routing table in the routing information table. Okay. And lookup order will be the first the ACI will check the endpoint table and after that, if there is no entry in the endpoint table, it will look for the rib lookup. Okay. And endpoint, you can say one machine or you can host, okay? Like this, we have a Windows Server one. This you can say this is the one endpoint and this is the one endpoint. If these two endpoint part of the one group, uh, we can say that would be the EPG endpoint number of the host part of the EPG so in the endpoint group, okay? And EPG then further belong to the bridge domain. Okay. If you have to check the endpoint table, you can log into the leaf uh, and you can run the command show endpoint vrf and then tenant name colon vrf name. Okay. Similar thing you can uh, also verify in the ACI GUI also. Okay, I will show you that actually. And if we talk about the forwarding, like here we have in a case if uh, traffic is if source and destination both on the same leaf, like this is a Windows Server one, Windows Server three are connected on the same leaf only, and they want to communicate with the each other. Okay. So here the traffic will come and ACI will refer the endpoint table and for the traffic. Okay. So there will be the no VF plan encapsulation will happen as this uh, there is no need to cross this fabric. This okay. And uh, local switching on the leaf is happening. Okay. So with the help of endpoint only, ACI will forward the traffic. Okay. This traffic can be L2 and L3. If I have to check the endpoint table in the GUI, what I have to do? I have to go under the tenant. Let's suppose here we are going under the tenant common. Okay, under that here you will come to the application profile. Under that we have on this uh, default application profile. Under that we have an EPG. I have created this test EPG. Once you go under the test EPG, here we have an under operational. Okay, under the operational in the client endpoint table. Here you will learn the MAC and IP endpoint name, learning source. Okay. And the interface will show the leaf window full path will show like the port one leaf one zero one and their port number in case nobody the vlan id that will be used by the external devices that will be reflected here okay this is how you can check the endpoint table on the gui and similar thing if you want to check on the epic okay so let me increase the phone size first okay, i'm setting here here and Here you can run the command like show endpoint. This will show the entry as you will not be able to see any entry. And for the particular leaf, also show endpoint leaf, leaf ID, like leaf number is 101. And after that, we have an interface, a particular interface you want to check the endpoint. So you can check. Okay. Similar way, we can run the command fabric and after that, leaf number. And after that, multiple options will be there like show endpoint. We don't want to log into the leaf. Endpoint, and then multiple options like here we are in a VRF, we are talking about. And after that, you can put the tenant name. We will no direct VRF name. We need to put the tenant name. Okay. Like if we have a tenant is, name is common, under that, if my VRF name is blue. So this way I will put. Okay, this way I will be able to see that. This is how you can check with the help of CLI. So this is how entry will be look like in the leaf. So here we have run the command of the leaf show endpoint VRF TK is the tenant name as the VRF one is the VRF name. And here we can see that below one last two entry. This is the MAC address entry L is the locally learned 
and it's showing the VLAN, VLAN encapsulation, it's showing the port number while the entry which are running, uh, which we are learning from a remote end, well, let's move to the remote leaf, okay, that in that case, it will show the interface as a tunnel, okay, Here encapsulation is VXLAN encapsulation. And one more point regarding to the forwarding the ACI is the type of VLAN in the ACI. So one type is PI VLAN. This is the internal VLAN ID of the leaf. Okay, it is not shared between the leaves. Okay. And second thing, second VLAN is access encapsulation VLAN. Access encapsulation VLAN. So this VLAN ID we use for the external devices. So these VLANs are configured by the user, like uh, we have seen that while we configure the VLAN pool. And after that, when we push the VLAN on the port under the application profile EPG, under that uh, we push the one on the static port, correct? After that, in that configuration, we push the VLAN number. So that is our encapsulation VLAN. And third is VXLAN, uh, which sometimes called VNEED. Okay, this is used for the forwarding. So this will be the global value in the entire fabric. So if we see this output, we are checking the endpoint table for this PR app and for TK tenant. Or uh, here we can see that uh, this 19 number, okay, this number is internal ID of the leaf. So this VLAN is the PI VLAN, okay, and platform independent VLAN. We can say PI VLAN, and this VLAN five. This is the access encapsulation VLAN, which VLAN ID will be used by external devices, or uh, we can say this is a user configured VLAN. Which we configured on the application point and the EPG while we push on the static port. Okay. And this is the global VNID or VXLAN ID, uh, which is unique in the entire fabric for the forwarding in the ACI when we do the forwarding. This this VXLAN VNID ID is 